Hey guys, Drifter here. I'm sure that by now all of you have already seen the Call of Duty Ghost trailer and the multiplayer reveal. What a lot of you may have missed is the great variety of weapons that were available. They probably showed off about 20 or 30 weapons in different varieties capacity. Unfortunately, a lot of them were in a pre-rendered state behind filter layers, super close-ups. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and break this down for you and show you all of the weapons that were in the single player cutscenes and in the multiplayer reveal. We're going to do this succinctly and factually. There are several that I'm going to leave out. I'm not going to randomly and wildly speculate, but I am definitely going to show you the things that I can clearly identify. I'd like to say a quick thank you to J-Hub. I actually wasn't at home to watch this today live. I was taking care of some very important business, but when I did get back, he took a lot of screenshots for me, the ones that you're going to be seeing in a second here. So thank you for that. I didn't have to go through the videos and dig through them all tonight and take the screenshots. He took all 40 of them for me, so I put his channel link down there in the description. I also got some help with this from Reddit and from Charlie Intel, and there's going to be a few links in the description to that, but without any further ado, let's get started. The first gun that we're going to talk about today that we see is the CZ805 Bryn. It's often mistaken as being an ACR or SCAR variant, but this is actually a very popular gun in fan zombies mods. It shows up in the single player trailer a couple of times, and a little bit in the multiplayer, maybe obscured a little bit. I can't say 100% for sure on that, but it's definitely here in the single player. There is also an AK variant weapon we see a few times. This is the clearest image of it. I believe this is an AK-74. It doesn't quite look like the 47. It doesn't quite look like the AN-94. I think this is an AK-74, but it's definitely an AN variant weapon. By far the coolest and craziest weapon that I saw was the Russian manufactured APS underwater assault rifle. This is a crazy goofy looking half spear gun, half assault rifle weapon. It doesn't shoot bullets. It shoots many spears a little bit longer than my finger. I actually put a link down in the description to the Wikipedia article on this weapon. This is one of the nuttiest weapons I've ever read about in my entire life and I really really want to spear people. These are two screenshots from the ever so brief and rough multiplayer reveal. I'm pretty sure this is an FAL. It looks like the FAL iron sights from previous games slightly modified, and the look and feel of the gun is FAL-ish. I might be wrong on this one, but I'm pretty sure that's an FAL. The next gun I'm very confident about that's got to be an M4A1 or M4A3. It's some M4 variant weapon, so we will definitely be seeing the old trusty M4. That's one of the standard weapons for American military, so I don't see why it wouldn't be there. This is a holographic sight or perhaps a hybrid sight at some some variable level of zoom. I'm not sure hybrid holographic. It's definitely holographic, but I don't know if it's the holographic portion of the hybrid sight. The gun that it's attached to is the UMP45. That is a very distinct looking weapon, hard to screw up, hard to not recognize. If that's not a UMP, then I'm just going to feel really, really dumb. The next screenshot I unfortunately have to speculate on a little bit more. They didn't show a whole lot of this weapon, but it's definitely some variety of machine pistol. I can't quite tell if it's a G18 with maybe a stock and longer barrel attachment, or if it's an Israeli designed corner shot. Corner shot's a really interesting weapon that has an optic on it and a little fold out like LED screen and you use it to shoot around corners. I don't see any of the crazy attachments on that and it's kind of a future weapon so I don't think it's a corner shot, but it does definitely have a corner shot stock on it. This this little guy is often confused for an MP5 or unknown submachine gun. This is actually the AAC Honey Badger. You've probably seen FPS Russia shoot this. This is in a couple of games. I wanted to show you a bigger image of it for comparison, but unfortunately I couldn't find one that was royalty free and legal for me to post, but that is definitely the AAC Honey Badger. It's somewhere in between a submachine gun and assault rifle. Really quirky kind of gun. The top of the weapon that the soldier in the middle is holding I'm pretty sure is a vector. I've been wrong before. Again, we're getting a little bit more speculative here toward the end, but I'm totally feeling vector on that one. That's very vectory. Could be wrong, but definitely feeling it there. This has got to be a tar variant assault rifle. You can definitely see it's a bullpup design. It looks very similar to the tar 21 to the mtar from previous games, all the way from the handle to the magazine design. Again, could be wrong here, but I'm definitely feeling that this is a screenshot of a tar variant weapon. Last and least, I have a little bonus for you here at the end. The screenshot says next generation engine, and if you look at all the blurry text in the background. It's a lot of, you know, hokey kind of stuff. And then just below the engine to the left, you see something that reads attachment system. It's kind of hard to read. I thought about zooming in on it, but you actually can't see it that well when you zoom in on it. And there were also some parts in the reveal where we're going over all of these different rails and attachments and optics. I believe the attachment system might actually have something to do with the available rails on your weapon and not so much a point system, which would be very neat, especially because they're, they're focusing on, on the gun rails here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.